everybody welcome back to my channel for another video today i cannot believe that i'm on my third year filming this video this is what i got my kids for christmas video but it's a bittersweet one for me because it is actually the first video that i ever posted back in my channel or on my channel back in the year 2020 um, it's the very first video that I posted and it's kind of where everything started. So I love to carry on the tradition every year and make this video. So I am going to share with you guys everything that we got our three kids for Christmas this year. Um, if you're new here, if this is the first time that you have ever found my channel, we have an 11 year old, almost 12 year old boy, a eight year old girl and a two, almost three year old girl as well. So boy, girl, girl. Um, so that is what we are going to be covering today. I think I have a pretty wide age range to share with you guys. And they're definitely all interested in very different things. Um, but before we get started, make sure you stick around to the end of the video to learn how you can win a $50 gift card from me. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I think we are going to um, start with the two-year-old. Um, now I will say that it will look like she got the most things and a number of presents. She probably did get the most things, but her things just cost less, you know, than what the other kids wanted. So I'm just going to kind of reach back and I will show you things and I'll tell you where I got them and how much I paid for them. If I can remember all of that stuff. So the first thing that I got for her is this cocoa melon bathtub. I actually thought that it was a bath toy, not an actual bathtub, like little cocoa melon bath toys that you could put in the bath, but this is even cuter. So, um, you can actually fill the bathtub with water. It has water squirters and then it has the, um, the little baby and then the brother there as well. So I thought that was super cute. I got this at Target. They had um, a deal a couple of, um, probably about a month ago where they had like buy one, get one 50% off toys or it might've been 50% off everything. I think I paid like $12 for that set when it was originally like 30. So I was very happy with the price that I found that for. Um, the next thing I'm just going to grab behind me is just a set of Play-Doh. I found these at Ollie's. Um, I don't know if you know what Ollie's is, but it's sort of like a discount store like Big Lots. Um, and she saw these one day when we were in there and just like flipped out over the little guy on the front. Where's he at? There he is. So I grabbed them and then she forgot all about them. So I was like, well, I'll just throw them in with her Christmas stuff. And they were only $2.99. The next thing I grabbed for her is this magnetic tiles pieces. Um, so this is a 60 piece kit. My, all three of my kids um, have had these at some point and all the other two loved them when they had them. So I thought with Finley almost being three, it was a good time to go ahead and get her a set as well. I ordered these off of Sam's Club and they were pretty affordable there. They were $24 for this set of 60. And these things can be pretty expensive. And also, I'm just, just seeing it also has a little bag in there for um, storing them. So that's pretty handy. Um, but yeah, these things can be pretty expensive. So I was happy with the price that I paid. And I know that she's just going to love those because she's really into like blocks and all of that stuff right now. I grabbed her a Cocoa Melon Co Color Wonder. This is like $8 at um, Walmart. Target, somewhere like that, one of those places. And I just really got it because it was Coco Melon because she loves to color and color wonder will keep her from getting it everywhere. So I just grabbed that to be a little extra thing. Let's go ahead and do this thing back here. So this is, oh, it's heavier than I thought. So this is a car that we bought her off of Target. Um, and we actually got her this for her baby dolls. She is super into playing with baby dolls right now. It has two seats. You see the back of the seats have little bows on it. So this was by the brand Glitter Girls and this was $34 for this little convertible car. I think it's supposed to be used with like the um, Target My Generation dolls, um, but she's just gonna use it obviously to put all of her little baby dolls in. I thought this was so cute. It's much better quality than I was expecting. So I am, um, I think she's gonna love pushing her little babies around in that. That'll probably be her favorite thing if I had to guess what her favorite toy was going to be. Oh, let's see here. Okay, 
I also got her a Melissa and Doug doctor like costume role play kit. So it has like everything in it for the pockets, like little ear things, nose things, a stethoscope. Um, there is a thermometer in there. There's an ejector like you're giving medicine. Even a little name tag. She loves to play doctor. Every day when I leave to go get um, the other kids from school, she makes Chris um, take her upstairs and play doctor with her. She's always like, daddy, play doctor, daddy, play doctor. So now I think it'll be cute that she'll have a little doctor set. Of course, now that I'm looking at this, it says ages three to six years. So it, she might be swimming in it, but that'll be okay. And that again was one of the things that was buy one, get one 50% off during that big sale that Target was having. I think it was like mid October or something when I started ordering stuff. I actually got going really early this year with it. So pretty proud of myself, um, which is one reason why I'm posting this video so early. The other reason is so that I have ample time to run the giveaway before Christmas so that I can give the winner their gift and then they will be able to, you know, do something with it before Christmas. Um, anyway, the next thing that I got for Finley is this um, castle playset. This is from Sam's Club. This one was $40 and it, um, let's see what the official name of it, the Royal Castle playset. So it has a king, a queen in there, a carriage, a horse, you know, different chairs, stuff like that. It's pretty similar to like a little people. Um, set but it was a little bit cheaper and I wanted to get her this because she is really into playing with like Barbies and the Barbie house and stuff like that right now but all of that is Kylie's and I don't quite think she's ready for it so I thought that if she had this she would enjoy playing dollhouse or whatever with this little set so I think that she will really enjoy that one Let's see, I'm gonna have to like stand up to get some stuff. Okay, so this, if you watch my channel regularly, then you would have seen already. This, what I got in a Sam's Club haul, if I can turn it around, this thing's huge. So this is a three wheel light up scooter. Um, they have these at Sam's Club. I think they actually still have them. They were only like 30 bucks. And Kylie is all about, uh, no, Finley is all about Kylie's scooter, my seven-year-old scooter that lights up, but it's a two-wheel and she has trouble with it. So I thought this would be perfect for her for Christmas this year. Last year, we got her a little um, balance bike and she still rides that thing constantly, loves it so much. Um, but I thought I would go with a scooter this year. So got that for her as well. I would say that was like her bigger gift. Um, let's see what else I can get back here. That is Bryson's. I think I have three more things for Finley. So I did end up getting her this huge Play-Doh set. This one was from Sam's Club as well. They have it in store and online for like 20 bucks for this 40 piece set of Play-Doh. So it has like 10 Play-Dohs and then all different types of, um, I think this is like a barbecue one, kitchen creation. So pretty much any kitchen tool you can think of is in here. You can make a little chicken leg stuff like that, waffle maker, all kinds of stuff, little cutouts in here. Um, so again, she really enjoys playing with Play-Doh right now. I would say her favorite two, her favorite things to do are play Play-Doh, play dolls, and ride her bike. So I feel like we're covering all of those bases right now and Cocoa Melon because what two-year-old right now doesn't love Cocoa Melon? Speaking of Cocoa Melon, that's what both of those are back there. Now I gotta get up and go get them. I was trying to get Chris to do this video with me. And he was not interested, so y'all have to yell at him about that. Look, he's right there in the comments. Anyway, okay, so the last two things I got for Finley are both Cocoa Melon. This is a Cocoa Melon vacuum cleaner. So every single time I vacuum, she is like, I vacuum too, I vacuum, I vacuum. And she'll go get like a mop or like a random thing that like I have a little like old Swiffer that I don't even use anymore. She'll go get it and she'll like push it all around and push it into me and get in my way. So I thought that I would get her her own little toy vacuum, but it doesn't, oh, it has the handle over there. But, um, so that she could push her little toy vacuum. And I think it sings Coco Melon songs. It does. Yeah. And this was another thing that I got from Target when it was on that deal. And I do remember that I only paid $12 for this. Um, so I was pretty happy with that purchase. They do have a vacuum cleaner at Sam's Club right now that's really affordable as well. I believe it's like $15 for a little like kids vacuum cleaner. 
Um, but I had already bought the Coco Melon one and I actually think that one will work better for her anyway. And the last thing that I got her, I got this at Sam's Club the last time I went. So again, if you watched that haul, you already saw it, but it is this Coco Melon little like jukebox. So it has headphones, but then it's got a microphone and the little Coco Melon, like the actual jukebox is Coco Melon. And um, you can sing your own songs into it or sing the Coco Melon song. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's preloaded with 24 songs. This one was $39 at Sam's Club, and I just bought this one last week, so that should still be there if you want to go get that for your kid. Okay, that is everything for my two, almost three-year-old. Now I'm gonna move on to my middle child, which is my seven-year-old girl. Now, if you follow me, then you know that Kylie is really, really, really crafty, and she is pretty much inter interested, I'm moving all bars and stuff. She's pretty much interested in only crafts. Um, so most of the things that I got for her are related to crafts, except her like big presents. She got two like bigger presents and then a bunch of little crafty stuff, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna start kind of grabbing stuff. The first thing that I got her is this, um, this is the Target, the Mondo Llama, I think that's what it's called, but it's the Ready to Start Art Artistic Acrylic Starter Set. So it has, does it have a canvas? Oh, okay, so it has five canvases, a set of five paint brushes, a set of acrylic paints, and a canvas holder. 12 paint tubes, five paint brushes, five canvas, table easel, plastic palette and color mixing chart. This was um, $20 at Target, it was $19.99. We got this probably about a month ago as well. Chris and I went on a date night and we did a little bit of Christmas shopping. This is all Kylie. If, again, like all Kylie. Um, she's going to be so interested in this. My only hope is that she doesn't use all of these acrylic paints really quickly or and that she doesn't ruin them. Because she can be a messy artist, which again, if you've been around, you know that. Um, okay, so that same day that I was at that discount store, Ollie's, I picked up a few things for Kylie. So this first one is this reality puzzle paint kit. So you get to assemble this flamingo and then paint him. And it comes with everything for you to do that. And it also says it has an instructional video guide. This was $6.99 at Ollie's. And I thought that was really cool um, for her to do. And it says you can Oh, so yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. You have to like punch it out, put it together, and then you get to paint it and have it, you know, forever. So this is definitely something that she will display in her art room. And I'm, I know that she will love doing that. And then the last thing I got her at Ollie's that day was a bunch of paper, construction paper, because she goes through it like crazy. And I just thought it would be good to wrap with this nice set of markers like to put on there. So this is the Sargent Art Markers, which is actually a really good brand. They sell um, colored pencils that we've bought off Amazon. And we, we paid a good amount for them on Amazon. But these pencils, I believe, they don't have the sticker on them anymore, but I believe they were like $2.99 or $3.99 at Ollie's that day. Um, and it's a set of 50 fine tip markers. So I thought this would be perfect for her to have this nice big set of markers to go in her art room that I just redid, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, she's gonna love that. I also got her this at Target. This was like 10 bucks. It's a little um, rainbow that she can paint, has the paints with it. She loves stuff like this. She loves to just be able to sit down um, and listen to music and paint. It's literally Kylie in a nutshell. If, if I could describe her, that's how I would. She loves to do that stuff. Um, we'll just do all the craft stuff first and then I'll move on to the bigger things. So this is something that we ordered her off of um, Sam's Club. So if your kids are into craft or crafting or you are, I'm sure you know who Mariah Elizabeth is. She's like a huge YouTuber, has a, like gazillion subscribers. So she does videos on paint pouring. She's done several on them and Kylie's really gotten into it and she loves it. So we saw on Sam's Club this metallic paint pouring kit. So it comes with everything that you need. It even has a little strainer for doing it. All the different paints you would need, glitters to add to it, the canvas, and you get to make your own paint pouring 
artwork. I was trying to see, so it actually comes with two canvases, so you can make two things. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Kylie's gonna love this. This was $25, which I would pay probably more than that for this, because again, this is something that Kylie is really going to enjoy. Stay. Um, okay, craft things. So, again, she really likes to paint, so this all kind of goes together. Um, I went looking on Amazon to find some like little things that she could paint and I found all of these little like wooden sets of different things and so she can paint them different colors, different patterns, do different things with them, hang them on her wall like with a um, little bit of like putty or something and decorate her art room. So the first set that I got are these wooden desserts. So there's a strawberry or it's chocolate covered strawberry ice cream cones, popsicles, different stuff like that. And I believe this was 60, 40, 40 unfinished wood pieces. So she gets to just sit and create and like have fun doing these. This is perfect for her. And then I ordered her another set. Yeah, that's what these are. I had to make sure it was the right thing. I wasn't like, had a different kid's present in her pile. Okay, so these ones are really cool. So these are, um, like butterflies and flowers, and they have a little string that comes with them. So this one's a sunflower. Uh, what's that, a dragonfly? Lightning bug, something like that. He said he can't see it. Um, daisies, you know, just a bunch of different butterflies. And then this one's cute. This is a mushroom. Oh no, wait, this one's cuter. Take it back, there's a little snail. Look at that one. So she's probably will like the bugs better. Um, but I mean, that gives her a lot of stuff to paint. The girl better not tell me that she's out of stuff to paint for a very long time. And then because those things are kind of smaller and a paintbrush would be more difficult for her to use with that, I bought her a set of paint markers. These were pricey. These were about $30 for this set of paint markers. I bought them on Amazon. It's by the brand Kalia Art or Cal Kalia Art. So it's 34 dual tip, um, dual tip paint markers, water-based brush and fine liner. So there's two sides um, and it says non-toxic and acid free. So yeah, I think she's really, and it has like every color you can imagine. So I thought this would be better for her for painting all of the wooden pieces or anything little that she's trying to paint or whatever. Okay, so her bigger things, let me get up here and try to get this. I think that's the only thing that I have to stretch up here and get, so we should be good after this. Okay, so her major gift what that spent like most of her Christmas budget money was a Nintendo Switch. She has been asking for this. We actually got her the light because um, we don't think she'll want to play it on the TV anyway. So we thought it wasn't like it wasn't useful to spend the extra money on the one that could be played on the TV because she's not going to do that. Plus, we have a PlayStation that Bryson plays on the TV. So we ended up getting her the Coral Nintendo Switch Lite. We bought it at Target. This was $200. Um, I was waiting around to see if there was going to be a Black Friday sale on it. And for everything that I can find online, the ads that have been leaked, um, it doesn't look like there is going to be any significant sale on this and I didn't want to risk not being able to get one. So I went ahead and bought it, um, but she's going to love this. I did order her a case that has not come yet, um, but it's like, I'm not going to actually have a couple of things for Bryson that haven't come yet either that I'm going to insert pictures of, but I ordered her a case off Target as well that has not come. Um, and then one other thing has not come. We ordered her a video game that is like a paint set and you get to paint things on the video game and there's a little paint pen that comes with it. I'll insert a picture of it here. Um, that is coming like with the case. I thought they actually were both supposed to be here today, but we got a bad storm today and like everything was delayed. So I think they're now supposed to be here like beginning of next week. So anyway, I'll insert a picture of it. That was one of the games that we got for her to go along with her Nintendo Switch. And then the other one that we got her is of course, Mario Kart. So this is Mario Kart 8. This sucker is expensive. This was $60 for Mario Kart. And again, they probably would have had Black Deals, Black Friday deals on video games, but I just didn't want to wait that long. I wanted to go ahead and have everything done. And I'm like in peace now because I've completely shopped and it's only mid-November. So 
that's her second game that will go along with her Nintendo Switch. And then the other big gift that we got her is this American Girl doll set. So that's another thing Kylie loves is her American Girl dolls. And Costco had this set, um, this was like early fall. I haven't been to Costco in a while, so this has been a while ago. Um, but it's a 25 piece set. This is the Time for a Party. So I think it's like a tea party backyard set. There's little like cornhole things and the plates and the pizza and an outfit and all that kind of stuff for her doll. She has three American Girl dolls. Um, and for her birthday this year, she actually wants to go do more American Girl doll stuff. Not buy dolls, but buy like accessories at the American Girl doll store, which is actually next weekend. So this is the only American Girl doll thing that we got her for Christmas because we knew that she was going to be getting stuff from it for her birthday. So this was $70. It might've been 80. I think it was 79 at Costco. So that's why like a lot of her other gifts didn't cost as much because she got two video games and this costed well over $300 by itself. Um, okay. So that's all for my seven year old. Now let's go ahead and talk about my eight year old boy. Now he by far has the least. Oh, he has 11. Did I say eight? <laughs> let's talk about my 11 year old, almost 12 year old boy. Um, so he by far has the least number of like packages, but it's because he likes expensive things that are more like each thing is more expensive than each little thing that the girls have. So, okay. I did get him a couple of books. We're going to start with those. Bryson is a fact master. That boy can tell you anything about everything. So I got him, the first thing I got him is the Guinness World Records 2023 book. This was at Sam's Club for $16. Um, he has 2022 and 2021 that he has read front, like cover to cover a few times over. So he is really going to enjoy that. And then his newest thing has been about learning about like countries in the world and all that stuff. He's really into different countries right now. So I decided to get him this National Geographic Kids World Atlas. I thought he would love this. It tells them all about, um, I actually haven't even opened it. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Different facts about different countries and stuff about the land and the structures and all of that kind of stuff. So he, again, will really like this. I got this one off Amazon, and this one's a little pricier. This was $30 for the hardback version, um, but I wanted him to have the hardback version um, just because I thought it was nicer and it would, you know, maybe last longer with him and all of that. Okay, so this sweatshirt is one that Chris bought for him. This is the um, Golden State Warriors um, NBA Championship sweatshirt. How much do we pay for this, Chris? $48. That's what Chris said for the sweatshirt. Better wear it every day. So that's a nice sweatshirt though. Yeah, small. It, looks small, it does look kind of small. Um, we got this off Fanatics. And then let's see, do we have anything else that's not cards? <laughs> we have a LeBron James Funko Pop. Bryson also likes Funko Pops. He collects them. So Chris actually ordered him. Um, so he has two things that haven't come, right? So the first thing that he has is this um, Stephen Curry like statue. What's, what is it? It's just like a figure. A fig they said it's like, uh, but it was like 75 bucks, wasn't it? 50. 50 bucks. Remember, like, remember the kids, they had, they had this thing called starting lineups. Remember those? They were starting lineups and they were like little figures to sport play. You don't remember that? No, no. Guess how much they were? How much? Five dollars. <laughs> and this is 50. Okay. That hasn't come yet because I actually think it was like just being released, right? Yeah, I don't think they made it. I mean, like, yeah, it's not supposed to be mid-December. Mid-December is when that was going to come, so I was not waiting on that to do this video. So, but I'll insert a picture of it here um, so you can get an idea of what it looked like. He sent that to Chris, like, a while back. He's like, I want this for Christmas. Um, he also has a big, they sell big Funko Pops. He has a big one of Stephen Curry, too. So I got him this Space Jam LeBron James one from Target. I know he'll like that. And then the other thing that we don't have is a box of cards that Chris ordered him off the Tops website. I'll insert a picture of that here as well. But everything else that I have. It's supposed to be tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So everything else I have. He got lots of cards and I know nothing about them. So I'm just going to kind of show them to you and maybe Chris can chime in if something is really cool. So this is the Tops Chrome 2022 baseball. How many dollars do we pay for this? $50 for this sucker. I'm just going to have Chris tell me it's what a, they cost it. Yeah. It's a mega box. It's a mega box. Okay. $50 for that. This one is a 20, 21 select blaster box of football. Yeah. What we pay for this? 
30 from Target, right? That's from Walmart. Walmart. These prisms, 2021-2022 basketball prisms. Walmart. Walmart. $35. $35. <laughs> I should have told Christy Bryce I'm making one at the end of the video. Is this the same thing? Yeah. I got them for you. Oh. Okay, so we got two of these, so we paid fifty for each one. Yeah. Hundred dollars. Right here. Okay. Uh we have two of these optic hanger boxes. I think you got these from Walmart too, didn't you? Yeah. How much are these? Twenty. Twenty each. Forty more dollars right here. Our boy's gonna have a lot of cards to open. This is a select 2021 hanger box hanger pack. Walmart? Target? Uh, where do I get that? I got that Walmart now. How much? 25. I mean, only blast was only 24 cards for 30 dollars. You see this in a big box, you think you're getting more, but you're really not. Okay, whatever you say. And then the last one is the Optic Don Russ basketball. What, what about this one? That's from Target, but I think it's like 30, I think. 30. I can't remember. 24 99 or 29 I can't remember. You're telling me there's like $250 worth of cards right here? Yeah. Or more? There's more. 100, 140, 170, 260, 270. Yeah, it's probably about 260, right? 270. $270 worth of cards. Okay, well, that's what the boy wanted. That's a good investment. It's a good investment. That's what Chris tells me all the time. Okay, so that is everything that we got our kids for Christmas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the giveaway. So I decided that I want to give back to you all. You guys have been so good to me this past year um, and so supportive and just so amazing with everything that I've been through with having my tummy tuck and all everything. So I, I wanna give back to you guys. So I'm going to choose one winner to get a $50 um, prize i can give it to you in the form of a gift card i can give it to you via like paypal or venmo whatever you choose but i'm going to give one person fifty dollars and all you have to do to enter is like this video um comment on this video with your favorite christmas tradition and also leave me your instagram handle so you have to have instagram to enter this giveaway i had an issue during my last giveaway where people were trying to claim things, claim winnings that weren't theirs. So with Instagram, you can't make up a new handle. Like that handle can only be used once. So I'll know it's you, if that makes sense. So I'm going to DM the winner ver via Instagram. So leave your Instagram handle down below. If you don't have one, you can go make one just for this giveaway, whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, like the video and comment down below with uh, your favorite tradition and your Instagram handle, and that's all you have to do, and I will pick a winner. I'm gonna run the giveaway for two weeks, or just under, just over two weeks. So what, when you run this? Till Dece I'm gonna announce the winner on December 1st. So just over two weeks, like two and a half weeks um, from the time you guys are seeing this video until I will announce the winner on December the 1st, so that you will have plenty of time, the winner, to spend your gift card on a gift for somebody or something nice for yourself or whatever you choose to do with it. You don't have to be subscribed to enter the giveaway, but it's probably a good idea so that you can see who wins. So, um, yeah, that is all of the terms of the giveaway. I'm happy to give back to you guys. So don't forget to enter it. Um, and yeah, that is my haul for this year. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow with a grocery haul and a meal plan. And I have a little Dollar Tree haul in that video as well because I went there the same day. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys soon. Thank you for everything. Have a great day. Bye. I've been presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come.